Hey there. Welcome to QuickBooks 2016. My name is Charles. And we are walking through module one right now. I'm on video number two. And I want to talk to you a little bit here about the difference in the QuickBooks desktop version versus the online version. In other words, we are basically looking at the difference between the QuickBooks desktop version and the QuickBooks desktop online. We want to see the difference between those two. And that's what we are going to look at in this video two of model one. This is module one or section one of QuickBooks. And we are trying to look at the difference between QuickBooks desktop and the QuickBooks desktop online version. The online version has, has always been subscription based. There are several subscriptions that you can subscribe to, but I want you to, I want to talk a little, a little now about the desktop version because things keep on changing year after year. They keep on updating those versions. Every year, they keep on releasing a new version. Just like what we are saying, that we, we are focusing on QuickBooks Pro 2016. And now, let me first highlight the QuickBooks desktop alone before I go to the online version because they are all different. They have, we are going to see their differences, but they are different in terms of when you are, when you are using them. You will see that there is some slight difference that we are, that we are going to see. But let me first, con first concentrate on the desktop version, the one we are doing right now. You realize if, 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 if you wanted to maybe to subscribe for any of these from Intuit, you will see that previously, it was very okay for someone to just buy QuickBooks from local suppliers. In other words, these are like the agents of Intuit, the one, the one that are helping Intuit distribute QuickBooks in different countries. You could just go to their local supply store and buy everything from everything from there. But in these newer versions, the one we shall see later, the, the, the one that are within 2020, 2021, 2022, those ones, most of the times it is better if you are to purchase them, you purchase directly from their website or from the Intuit website. Because most of the times they changed, I think they changed the things around 2021, September there. That's when they, they made it that you could actually buy their services from their website. 
they were there, but the other the, the prior to 2021, we, we, we customers could just go to any of their local supplies. Local supplies, I mean the ones that are actually happening in your respective countries, and you buy any package that you want from there. But even 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 now, you can actually buy from their website because they made it, they put it there. Of course, it doesn't mean that they have actually eliminated the other agents, no. The other agents are still distributing, but those agents, they just buy, they also come and buy from them, then they sell. So the price may be a little bit varying depending on where you're buying it from. So it's, to be on the safer side, it is always better to buy it from there, from their website. So when you buy them, you can just load them, load them to your, your desktop computer or your laptop, whichever gadget you're using. Because that's the same thing. You could buy from their local supply, then you come and install on your laptop or desktop. It is the same thing. You can just buy a product from, from their website and you come and you, you, you install it than using those local supplies. Because now, the reason why they are doing so is because we are seeing that most of the things they are becoming, they are becoming subscription based. That if you're not buying from the, from the provider, him or herself, you'll find that you're missing out something. In case the, this version expires, you have to go back to the lock supply. So it will be very easy and very direct for you to just buy from there, from their website. You pay, they give you the product key, they give you their, the, 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 the license and you, you, you can be able to operate QuickBooks. Most of the times if you are to buy, if it is not these plus, you know, we shall look at those plus QuickBooks Pro Plus later in, in the coming modules. But if you buy, let's say, QuickBooks desktop, like the one we are using, most of the time is it takes a duration of three years. They give you that license and it goes for three years. Then after three years, you are, of course, you start renewing. Renewing on annual basis. So now, after installing that QuickBooks, if you have purchased and you have installed on your laptop or on your desktop computer, you'll find that the QuickBooks desktop version and the QuickBooks online version, they look totally different. The online version is great if you, if you need maybe, if maybe you need to, to have access to your data from anywhere in the world. In other words, if it is an online version, you can just log in anywhere without calling maybe your laptop where you installed that you can just log in anywhere and you can be able to access it. That's one of the best difference that is there with the desk because with this desktop version, you, you are supposed to be with your laptop or that very computer in order to access the information. But the other online version, you can actually log in, access everything anywhere you want to access your information from. That's one of the big difference. So 
Because now, for the other online version, as long as you have internet access or internet connection, you can log in and you are not going to be able to do that on your desktop version unless you have a new subscription version. So we can maybe join the, we can, as, as we've seen, as you are seeing on the screen, we have already have entered into one of the, the files I've been working on. We can start looking at some of the things, even though we are going to be looking at them in the coming modules, but I'm going to be explaining so that if you look at what, what you are seeing on the screen right now, and what you will see on the screen for an online version, it will be, it will give you something. So this is, what you're seeing is what the desktop version of QuickBooks looks like. It actually has what we call a home screen. This is the home screen, the one you're seeing here. Home. This it says home page, but you can be able to see what what happens or what is shown on the on the home screen. And it it, it helps you walk through the steps you need to to take in order to create any transaction. Because you can be able to see that it has these different things that you are supposed to be doing. We have purchase orders, we have receive inventory, enter bills against the inventory, in the vendor section. We have also the customer side, we have estimates, we have invoices. So there are so many things. You have got a section, this, this is the section for vendors, this is the section for customers, and this is the section for employees. We shall look at those sections in the coming in the coming videos in more detail. But what you have to understand here is that the vendors, those are the suppliers, all those are the accounts payable. You have got the customers, these customers, they are, they are the ones QuickBooks call the accounts receivable or your clients the people you give on credit. And you have got a payroll section. We are seeing the payroll section here, and you can see the things that are there in the payroll section. Of course, this payroll section you are seeing, it's, for it, it is more concerned with the, the employees. So that's why you are seeing the QuickBooks calls it and it gives it a section as employees. And you will see here that you have also a flow chart. This is this is the the the, the chart that tells you what to do next. Because here you are seeing. This chart you are seeing here, it has arrows. From purchase orders, they tell you, you go to receive inventory. From receive inventory, they, they tell you, you go to enter bills against inventory. If you follow this line that is moving this side, I'm moving downwards, enter bills, it goes to pay bills. What does that mean is that it just gives you the direction that if you are on this side, if you are in this section of QuickBooks, then you are supposed to do this. You follow 
those charts or those directions. You follow them through to where they end. And that's, uh, that, that's the beauty. Because you can see, you can see, for example, if you enter a bill, for example, the next thing you do here, if you enter a bill, the next thing you are supposed to do or that, that QuickBooks will guide you to do is to, to pay the bill. If you are in this vendor section, we follow the section along with the chart, how the chart moves is how we are supposed to, to do things. Because here, if you base on this chart, you are not going to have the way you are seeing that chart, the way it is presented by, in, in that form, you are not going to have that same chart if you go to QuickBooks online version. That will not be there. So in the desktop version, we have the flow chart. And that flow chart, it tells us what to do next. But when you look at the online version, you are not going to have it's that the, the instance there is that you are supposed to be knowing what to do next. In other words, they don't give you the direction there. It's you to know what you are supposed to do next. That's the second difference between the QuickBooks Online and the, the desktop version. You can also get time to get time and visit the Intuitive's website. For those who don't know, actually Intuit is the company that provides QuickBooks or that supplies QuickBooks. So when I talk about Intuit, I'm meaning the company that provides this accounting software to the people to, to use. Whichever organization uses QuickBooks, it is supposed to be using a product from Intuit. So for those who don't know, that's it. So, because now if you go to the Intuit website or if you go to the company website, you will be able to see the different subscriptions that, are, that the company is offering. And then some of the pricing you will see the product and you see its price. You see the number of users. Those are the best things that you look at because QuickBooks has different versions whereby this version can only support maybe five users at a time. Others can support three users at a time. Others can support one user at a time. So if you go through the, the, the company or the Intuit website, you will be able to understand the different subscription the, the company has and the different versions plus their respective prices. So I advise that you check out that website and be able to see what they are providing and the price. Because now, for example, you'll be looking at a subscription for the online version of QuickBooks. You will see that you have a simple start, which is for very small businesses that are just that, 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 that you have just started. If you have just started your small business, you can just go for that simple start. But that is QuickBooks online version. If you're on the desktop one, then you also see the different types that they have there. Because now, the reason as why they are offering different products or different packages 
it is based on the company. Some companies are too small, others are too big, others are they are moderate. So you pick the subscription that is going to allow you get the maximum return on the money you are investing there. Because if it is a company that has maybe five people in the accounts department, then you are supposed to have a version that is going to accommodate all the five people. If you are just only one person in the account in, in the finance department or in the accounts department, then they can bring for you the package that is going to hold only one person or that can accommodate only one person. Most of the times it may depend even on the transaction. Some companies are too big to the extent that these small packages are going to be limited to certain number of transactions. So those are some of the things that you may look at, but my emphasis here is not to give you the different products, but I'm just giving out the basic differences that are there because someone may be, may be wondering, I'm using it, this person is teaching QuickBooks, but me, I'm seeing a different, or I'm having a different screen as compared to what the person is telling us. So I want to make sure that at least we clear this. We know that if you are, if you are going to be using, or if you are going to be following these tutorials, you know which package you are studying, and that will help you understand more. The good thing I've told you, we are going to be handling all the versions. We are going to handle the desktop versions, but we've started with a model that is a bit old, but we shall go to a newer version. After that, we shall look at the online version as I walk through even on how to become a certified QuickBooks Pro advisor. So just follow through, subscribe, and be part of these tutorials. Maybe to just throw more lights on the simple start as a subscription base for online version of QuickBooks. If let's say you are, you are that, that company that has just started and maybe you actually don't even really have any customers yet, you haven't got customers for, for your services or your products you are offering. That might be a good, a great one for you to start with to see QuickBooks, to see QuickBooks. And from there, you can move up to the plus version. These are QuickBooks Pro Plus versions. They are subscription based. Because now if you are on that plus version, you will have a lot of more features than the simple start. Because the simple start, it is the starting point for those companies that have just started. But as you be in the business, you are gaining more customers, meaning you can keep on gradually increasing from the start, maybe to a plop a plus version, and you can be able to have more features than what you had in the simple start version. The simple start also has small limited amount of transactions you can enter because they limit them on the transactions. That's what makes the difference. That's why I wanted you to go through their website and you see the difference between those different packages that they are offering. You will see that the plus package actually lets you track your 
job profitability if you have inventory or the most or if you if you want to manage your bills you want to pay your bills and you can't do this in simple stuff because they ju they're just limiting on some of the functions they are pulling out some of the functions and they are putting those functions in different in different packages but the best key idea is that how you do certain thing in a given version it is the same way you do it in the other version the only thing that is going to change is that in terms of what you have subscribed before in terms of the the package you have selected and you can keep on upgrading them to the to the advanced versions as or to the advanced packages as you may you may want to and the more you keep on advancing is is that you are going to be seeing different things or you are going to be getting more features that that are going to be helping you to do your business analytics if you want to do maybe batch invoicing and expenses you can see what is there and second final there is also that there is also a package that is really for these small business owners especially freelancers they are independent consultants just only one person so you find that quickbooks also provides a package that is going to be for only one one person and you will totally you will totally be a self-employed because you will be an independent consultant or an independent freelancer and it's a bit new because they keep on checking what is actually happening in the real life scenarios and they provide products that are going to actually solve industrial problems you also look at the pricing of each of these and most of the time was when you are when you are purchasing a package they can they, they always give you a 30 day trial in other words you can install the package you use it for 30 days without paying it's a trial period most of those versions they give that trial period you see how things work if it is actually going to give you what you want then at a later stage you can go ahead and pay after the 30 days have elapsed now if if you if if you have done with that quickbooks the different versions that are within the quickbooks online then let's try to look at the different versions or the different packages that are within the quickbooks desktop the other one we've been looking at the simple the one for freelancer the pro the pro plus those are the different packages that are within the quickbooks online then let's look at some of those packages that are going to be within the desktop version because the reason as why i'm narrating to you all these stories is i want you to get the difference so that when you check the website you actually know what to pick from there and you know that i've picked this product but it is a desktop version or it is a quickbooks online version and in this 
desktop version, they have the Pro Plus. They have the Premier Plus and the Enterprise. And this, you only need them if you actually have a lot of employees at your organization. In other words, when there are very many users. When the, when the users are many, it means they are all going to be able to use QuickBooks at the same time. They can use that QuickBooks simultaneously. Because those versions, they are able to allow more users at a time or to have, they, they give a maximum of the maximum number of users of that given package. The Pro Plus, the Premier, and the Enterprise. And you also be able to scroll through and see the different features that are there. These things we are going to get them from the, the, the Intuit website. You will be seeing that the first page is on QuickBooks Online. The other page is on desktop. Then you see the different packages and you see the different features that each product is providing. You can also see that there, there are some versions that within the QuickBooks Online that are not doing that are not doing they, they, they are not acting actually tracking time. They are not tracking inventory. In other words, they are not tracking inventory time. So they are not tracking your invoicing. Maybe if let's say if you are trying to look at the inventory, managing your inventory. In other words, this version, they can help you manage your inventory by looking at how, like in how many days are you going to be able to bring in more stock, the order period. So those different things that are going to be handled by the different versions. So I just want you to, I'm just giving you just a brief introduction of what is there, but make sure you look at that Intuit website to be able to get to get the things that you you need. There are those that are doing barcode scanning. In other words, you can be able to use QuickBooks to actually scan your inventory using those different barcodes that are there. But now, if you look at uh, Premier Plus, because these Plus versions, whichever version that has a Plus, it means it is a subscription based. We said it. And you will see that for those different options or for those different packages, we have additional features. The only thing that is going to change is the features that are going to be within that package. And you will notice from that Pro Plus, you will have up to three users. Then the Premier, you will have up to five users. And this Premier Plus, you, for it, it will allow up to 40 users. So it is actually allowing very many people to, to use. You'll have to pay for those, for those ones. 
you are going to pay because they are they are they are plus packages you are supposed to pay subscription for each year they charge annual subscription you may find that the, the, the other versions they can actually allow you to pay on a monthly basis but the, the challenge the challenge with paying a monthly fee if you if you if if you if you make a cumulative figure for the money you are paying per month vis-a-vis -vis that person who has actually paid for a year you'll find that the other person has paid less or you have paid more because for you are paying in smaller installments you are paying on a monthly basis so you check you consider all those as you pick the package you could look at all of all of those and select which one you want to to go with so make sure you check the two from that page or from that website the website is called quickbooks.intuit.com slash desktop if you want the desktop version it is quickbooks dot dot intuit dot com slash desktop that is a quickbooks overview of oh it's the the quick overview of the desktop version versus the online version if you want to get familiar with which one you are supposed to go with make sure you read through the different packages that are available there you check the features you check the number of users they allow and you'll be able to select which one is going to work for you so let's go ahead and flip over to the next video because i actually want to take you in and talk a little bit about a little bit more about the desktop version because we've just given the packages but i want to do a thorough analysis of the desktop version because it is this desktop version that we are going to be studying because i want i want to take you through each each one of those different versions so that you know exactly what is what is it you are going to you are going to purchase when you make a decision to to do so we are going to look at the desktop version only the other one i was just giving a general knowledge that was differentiating the two but here we are going to focus on only the desktop version we look at that and we see because it's the one that we are going to be studying so i want to put more emphasis on it so that we can close it out so let's meet in the next video